What's in the box, you ask? Let me show you. Welcome to this episode of Radio Tech by DIY3DTech.com. So what's in the box? Well, you got a DMR radio sitting here, so guess what's got to be on the other side? That's right, a hotspot. So now again, I know this has been done ad nauseum, so I'm not going to go into it from that aspect of what's in the box because who really cares sort of what's in the box. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about why I purchased what I did of what's in the box, why you might or might not want to, and we'll go from there. So as I covered out with the, the with the Bofang um, radio, this this is a DMR radio, and so for the DMR radio, you need a DMR hotspot. So here we go. I have one jumbo DMR hotspot. Now, why did I pick this? Now, I know a lot of folks on the old interweb are jumping up and down about the open spot, things like that. Uh, one of the things I didn't like about the open spot is it didn't have an antenna connector. The ones I seen did not. This has an SMA antenna connector, so it's very easy to add an, a, a more appropriate external antenna because you get this little goofy guy here. One of the things that my plan is to also do with this is to mount this in my attic. Now, my primary focus with DMR is going to be actually DMR, just sort of the generic. And so looking for something like this now, I want to get it a little elevation because I want to try to get maybe about a mile or so range. Eh, that might be pushing, but we'll see if I put a big enough gain antenna on this. But again, that's where I want to get this up into the end of the attic, build a special thing. And I'll have a bit of video when I go to do all that stuff uh, because I have a finished attic above my workshop here in the garage, which I designed for such uh, things, if you will. So anyways, that's sort of my goal. However, I wanted to talk a little bit about DMR uh, a little bit more. So when I did an unboxing of this Baofeng 1701, I talked a little bit about DMR, digital mobile radio, and the fact that this takes sends a digital signal to a device such as this hotspot, which connects to the internet and then relays that over the internet and can come out to various other hotspots or repeaters, which I think is just really the coolest thing since sliced bread. And that was one of the things that really, when I saw this technology was, you know, this is time for me really to get into amateur radio because this is really the bonding of RF technology and the internet. I think that is really cool because this is one of the things that we're seeing, especially with the coming of 5G, which I'm involved with, it is really the, the bonding of data and radio. And so this is really a natural extension, at least in my mind. And I think this is one of the things to, again, liven up the hobby a little bit, is to have digital radio or digital opportunities because the pieces, you know, the days of having to have a big wire out back and big amplifiers, and I know that excites some. And to me, it still excites me a little bit to see that because again with my age and you know wanting to be a ham for the past 40 some years and not doing it you know that's really was my introduction but now with digital you know you can sit there in your home with a radio like this and you know key up talk to something like this or talk through a Peter as you're out about town and talk all over the world I mean to me that is just simply amazing and the piece is I'm really interested in modes of data communication over these modalities too. And so that's where a lot of my focus is gonna be. I'm very interested in FT8. And again, one of the things that really fascinates me is, um, and I'll put a link uh, down below, uh, is a 16 year old kid basically in, in Switzerland put up a uh, LoRa space satellite. And one of the things in my day job, I'm very involved in industrial IoT, 5G, things like that. And the, I see tons and tons of opportunities for the amateur radio community to get involved in this type of technology. And this is where the real future is, is to have economical transfer of event-based data from point A to point B. And, and, and you know, this is you know, an excellent modal platform for that. So again, I'm very excited about the various different things. I'm also interested in what do you guys think about it? What do you guys uh, think about the various hotspots? Are there some good antennas maybe I should look at? Should I build my own? I probably will. You'll see that um, I've ordered one of those small VNA uh, vector network analyzers to experiment with antennas. I'll cover that in an upcoming video. But, you know, looking for your suggestions. 
Are there different modalities of digital I should be looking at? Again, I'm open to all that, so please hit me up in the comments. I'll have a link to this down below if you're interested. I picked it up off of Amazon. It was super cheap. Um, and that's where I figure this is almost throwaway technology, you know, because it's got a hat board and a small Raspberry Pi Zero in the bottom. Even comes uh, with a memory card already installed. So, hey, you can't beat that for the money and playing around. And that's, again, the big thing is I talked about when I purchased this one and also the Baofeng um, uh, F8 HP it is again the cost of all this stuff and I bought that simplex repeater I'm still under 500 bucks for all this so I mean it's a crazy amount of kit that I can experiment with because you know now even going back to that simplex repeater you know I can use this radio to experiment with the simplex repeater I can also go DMR so again for sub 500 bucks using Chinese radios I can really have a lot of fun with this hobby and that's what really excites me. So if you're looking to get into this hobby, this is what I would suggest and this is the route I'm taking and so far it's been pretty enjoyable. So anyways, if you're interested in this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit me up with comments. I'm learning about all this stuff too and interested to hear what you have to say. Cheers. Cheers.